first question, how come no one has done this before? Because it this seems like a really difficult. <laughs> no, sorry, <laughs> carry on. But it's it seems it really like a is. really simple idea. Here's the thing, everybody, uh, not everybody, I see a lot of messages online saying, oh, they stole my first person idea. Oh, they had, I have, I've been thinking about this since I was a kid. Well, you could have, we all had access to a GoPro, right? Everybody could have made that music video. Maybe a music video that I made that was the sort of the prequel to these things, anybody could have done it, except it, maybe it's luck, maybe I'm super talented, maybe it's a mix of both, I don't know. But uh, I think the biggest answer is because Hollywood's run on precedence and nobody wanted to be like, here you go, go make this thing in first person. No one's ever done it, good luck. It just wouldn't have worked within a studio system. The fact that we made it in Russia with a with a U.S. based Russian producer who understood the business and understood a that Russian you know, and South African going yeah, to try and do it exactly. Yeah. You know, it was, it was it was pretty. It's a perfect concoction of like the yeah. elements. So it's almost like the start of a bad joke. It's like a South African and a Russian <laughs> get a South GoPro. South African yeah. and a Russian get a GoPro. <laughs> yeah. Get into That's a bar. Right. That's <laughs> Make an amazing movie. <laughs> yeah, take that one. <laughs> We'll steal that. Yeah, we're taking it. That's fine. We've Just already stolen your quote for one of the things that <laughs> yes. IGN gave it 8.6 yeah. or whatever. Uh, let's talk about the action movie influences yep. on this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing elements of the raid in this. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing yes. elements of the running man. With the flamethrower. That's interesting. Okay. Unless that's, that's just me being a no, massive but nerd. Here's the thing. It makes total sense. I think we were we were looking at designs for the flamethrower, and uh, I did not think in my costume design. I definitely did not think of the running man. But now you mentioned, I'm like, yeah. There's so much of uh, generational influences that are in this film. That was one of the things that was intriguing to me and made me want to do it. It's like this is a product of our generation and anyone younger than me. I, you know, of video games, music videos, uh, different movies that it we've was, grown up it with. Was, I think we, we mentioned the raid. I think I, we played, the second raid came out, we were still shooting. I remember playing that, uh, or the, was it the first raid that we were showing, the, the, the crew was saying, that's the bar. That's the, that's the best action film we have right now. And if we go any less, we just shouldn't do it. So, um, you know, I've, I've been in touch with Gareth. He's been very, very supportive. It's been very nice. Oh, really? Yeah. He didn't go, I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid you've nicked all of my ideas. No, because there, here's the thing, there's, you know, we make this, he'll do the next one's gonna be even more amazing. It's kind of, it's, look, he's a fantastic action director. I don't think we're stepping his, uh, on his, uh, on his ground in the slightest. It's very different movies. Here's an idea, the three of you actually make a movie together. Boom, yeah. done. I actually met with Matt Flannery, his DP, the other day. We were supposed to shoot a little thing that, uh, thing we were shooting. That was supposed uh, to be him, but he was, turned out he was busy, which was a shame. Nice guy, though. Um, your character. Yeah. Um, what were your influences? Because it's not like you take a regular job, say the A-Team, you're playing one character. Yeah. Don't want to do too many spoilers. Yeah. I think, I mean, this, without too much of a spoiler here, you got a you know, you're playing multiple versions of the, of, of, of a character, and um, the style of it, the tone of it, very much comes from the type of performances I loved as a kid. It was people like Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, uh, Jim Carrey. You know, there's a fun sense of characterization, multiple persona. Dwight Schultz, you know, in the A Team. I mean, it was the only other role that's even close that I got to do in the A Team. It's, it's, and for, in the initial conversations we had, because I came on board before there was even a script, that tone of performance was very important in it, terms it, of the helped, tone of the action once, and, and, once and, and the kind of humor in the action. That, yeah, that, once we uh, got the idea of, I pitched Charles with the 10 different Jimmys, uh, and he said he's excited by that, and we started coming up with the different Jimmys. Of what they that would be, to, yeah, he pitched me the to, idea of them, and then that we created That helped to them. guide the rest of the tone of the film, because if it was one Jimmy, it could have been a much more serious kind of thing. I'm very happy that we kind of pushed each other to make this uh, into what it is, in the sense that the, the tone, it's a fun tone, it's a movie that's a theatrical or a cinematic experience that's not just, you know, we could have done crazy action for 90 minutes with a few quips here and there, but the, the fact that it's a fun movie because we have all this sort of comedy in there, mm. it kind of balances out. I think that's what makes it so, I love it for that reason. And an Can awesome I say film. I love my own film? Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's fine. All right. <laughs> Dolly good.